So you have your Rode Wireless Go 2s and you have an iPad and you want to get them both connected so you can record a podcast or some other great audio. Well, in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that, as well as connecting headphones at the same time so you can get some playback and hear what you recorded. Now, if you have an older iPad with the lightning connection, then check out this video right here and that'll show you exactly what you need and the setup is the same way. But if you have an iPad with USB-C, whether it's an iPad Pro, an iPad Air, or the latest iPad mini, here's where you wanna be. Let's check it out. Hey everyone, I'm India Delgado. Thank you so much for coming through to my channel and checking out my videos. So the good news is that you can actually connect the Rode Wireless Go receiver directly to your USB-C iPad using a USB-C to USB-C cable. You just take one end, plug it into the receiver, take the other end and plug it into the iPad. You can see here on the Rode Reporter app, it says that we're using the internal microphone, but as soon as I connect the receiver, you give it a few seconds, it's gonna change and it lets me know that it's now connected to the Rode Wireless Go 2s. So if I take my transmitter and I tap on it, you can take a look down here and you can see the audio levels are picking up from the actual receiver themselves. So I'm talking into this Rode Wireless Go 2 transmitter and it's picking up the audio levels here. And that's it, simple. However, we are back to using our only port if we do that, and we can't connect headphones. The first cable that you'll need is the USB-C to headphone jack cable from Apple. This is a $9 cable. You'll also need a Rode SC6 adapter. And this Rode SE6 adapter is TRRS on one end. It actually splits two microphone adapters there and a headphone port. So you'll take this SC6, and this is $19 from an authorized Rode reseller. And you're going to connect the SE6 directly to the iPhone adapter. You'll need the Rode SC7 cable, which on the gray end is TRRS. So there's three rings, and then the black end is your regular TRS cable. So you connect the gray to any of the gray ports on the SC6 adapter. Of course, you'll take your headphones and you'll connect the headphone part to the headphone jack of the SC6. And now that you have everything connected, you can take your USB-C adapter. And if we look again on the Rode Reporter app, you'll see it says internal microphone. As soon as I plug in the USB-C adapter, it's going to switch from internal to external. You have to connect the actual microphone though. And now it switches from internal to external. We have everything connected. So it is now picking up that there is an external microphone connected to your iPad. And if I pick up the Rode transmitter and we take a look at the levels down here, if I just tap on the Rode transmitter, you can see the levels are being picked up by the Rode Reporter app as I tap. And as I talk into it, it's going to pick up the levels directly from the Rode transmitter. There is a solution to connecting your headphones at the same time as your Rode Wireless Go 2s to your iPhone if you need that audio pass through. If you don't, it's really easy. Just a USB-C to USB-C cable connecting your receiver to your iPad and you are one and done. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and give me some feedback in the comments. How are you using the Rode Wireless Go 2s? Are you connecting it to your iPhone? Are you connecting it to your iPad? Are you recording podcasts? I'd love to hear from you. Catch you guys on the next video. Peace.